welcome to week two of Joy to the World. This week, we're going to be talking about how we got to know about the angel of Gabriel coming to this earth and telling Mary. Wait, I'm not going to tell you the rest. You guys just have to watch, okay? There's going to be so many joyful moments that we're going to be listening to this week as we hear the story of Jesus. Well, boys and girls, I, I, I want to just jump in really quick, but first, let's pray. God, we love you and we thank you. God, will you be with us as you just teach us the story of your words today, God. May we listen, may we understand, and know you better each and every day. We love you and we thank you. Amen. Let's go! Hey friends! I am so, so excited today because I get to do something I've always wanted to do. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you some hints. I'm getting bundled up in my winter clothes to go outside. I'm also practicing my singing. Fa la 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 And I'm going to see my neighbors. What do you think I'm going to do? Caroling, Cowie? Yep, I'm going caroling. Going caroling is when you go around and surprise people by singing them Christmas songs. I got the idea from another friend of mine who lives in a whole different place in the world. Check it out. Hey, Kali. I live in the Caribbean, and my favorite thing to do at Christmas is to go caroling with my family and friends. Merry Christmas. My friend lives in the Caribbean. That's fun to say, too. Can you say that with me? Car. A B N Caribbean. So I asked my mom and dad if we could go caroling too, and they said yes. And I was like, woohoo! Do re mi fa sol la ti do. <laughs> I can't help it. I love singing. My dad says he hopes our singing brings people joy. Do you know what joy is? My dad told me it's a feeling like happiness, but bigger! And I was like, wow, wow, wow! Okay, I'll stop with the singing for now. <laughs> Have you ever felt joy, friends? What are some things that give you a feeling even bigger than happiness? I'm gonna keep getting ready and keep practicing my singing! Oops, I did it again. Let's check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. It begins with a young girl named Mary. God sent an angel to Mary to tell her that God was with her. The angel said that she was going to have a baby boy and that she should name him Jesus. He would be very great, the king of the whole world forever and ever. Mary wondered how could this happen and the angel told her how God would do it. The angel also said that Jesus would be God's own son. Mary said that she was ready for all of this to happen, and then the angel left. Mary had a person in her family named Elizabeth, who was also going to have a baby boy. Even though no one thought that she could, Mary went to see Elizabeth, and when she walked in, the baby in Elizabeth's tummy jumped for joy. Elizabeth somehow knew what the angel had said to Mary, and they celebrated together. Mary felt a feeling bigger than <laughs> happiness. The feeling was so big that she sang a song thanking God for what God was doing. Mary knew that God's son, Jesus, would not come only to bring joy to her, but for everyone. She knew what we know too. Jesus came to bring joy to the world. And do you know what else was awesome? Caroling! One house we went to was my neighbor, Kate's. She lives with her grandparents. When we were singing, Kate's grandma started to cry. When I cry, it usually means I'm really sad or really mad. I asked my mom and dad why she was crying, and they told me she was crying tears of joy. Wow! 
That meant she was so happy, she cried. Now that I think about it, she was smiling while she was crying. Joy is a really big and great thing. And as we learned in our story today, Jesus came to bring joy to the world. How can you make someone feel joy today? I decided I'm going to do what Mary did and make up my own song about Jesus and joy. Or should I say, Jiggy Joy. Jesus brings joy, Jiggy Jiggy Joy. Jesus brings joy to the whole wide world. Jesus brings joy, Jiggy Jiggy Joy. Jesus brings joy to the whole wide world. Well, <laughs> it may not be as good as Mary's song of joy, but I'll keep working on it. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. Remember, Jesus came to bring joy to the world. Bye. Man, isn't that an incredible story about how the birth of Jesus was foretold? I don't know about you, but if I was Mary, I'd probably be really afraid about Gabriel just showing up out of nowhere, but also how Gabriel showed up to Joseph as well. Man, it's an incredible story that reminds us how Jesus came to bring joy to the world. It's an incredible story, and, and I love this time of year, and I love that we get to remind ourselves just why we celebrate Christmas. Not just us, but people all across the world. So, unfortunately, it is time to go because um, I think I've almost ran out of joy. I'm just kidding. Joy is not something that runs out. It's something that we always remind ourselves because of the promise that God gave Adam and Eve at the very beginning, but also at the same time, us and you and me in that as well. Well, hey, it is time to go, but don't worry. We'll be back next week with a brand new story as we continue celebrating Christmas and we continue sharing the good news with the whole world. Have a great week and we will see you next time.